what's going on guys and welcome to your 23rd jQuery tutorial in which we'll be learning to create a kind of new sticker effect in jQuery so have you ever seen a kind of new sticker with which automatically ticks here and there based on your click on the next and previous buttons so you could actually make it like a quote maker where you have quotes stored in an array and you can just those quotes could automatically pop up once the user clicks next 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 buttons and you would pretty much understand what I'm saying when we will finally build this so let's create it and let's get started with this bad boy so to create that first of all we need to create some sentences to work with and let's say my new sticker and let's give it each new sticker and I'm just creating a raw thing this is my sentence one I'm not styling it very much I'll leave it that to you but I just want to show you that how simple it is with jQuery to do such things so let's say we have seven new stickers and the first one being the active one uh, let's say out of this I create div id uh, next next and div id previous previous or rather this should be spam so that it appears in a line so let's check this out in a browser and here it is so that's how it works uh, let's just give it a couple of breaks so that it's separated and we are good to go and what about this two pipes and obviously the formatting will never end so let's just make it right here so in the script section let's start with uh, our scripts okay so yeah so let me explain this line which is on my fingers and this line right here technically means the same line as document.ready function so these two lines are one and the same thing so document.ready function is same as this line this line is just the shorthand of this whole bunch of text which, uh, which we can use for replacement of this line so you may want to use this line because it's a cleaner version of this line and saves you a couple of milliseconds so anyways let's get started with the script section and first of all what I would like to do is I would like to have a event attached to these two buttons that whenever they are clicked something should happen so let's grab the ID of each of them and since they are created on the document we need not to use the on one we could just directly go with click and make sure you spell it right inside a function um, let's do something now first of all what you need to do is let's get this active one into our jQuery and what we can do is uh, let's say variable active div is um, not the this one but just simply div dot active so now active div is simply this thing and why I'm not just using it like this I'll tell you right now so currently all the seven sentences are visible to us but we would like to have only one sentence visible to us at a time because that's what new sticker does and to do that let's hide it with CSS new sticker and let's say display none and I hope you are good with CSS so I won't be explaining much of the stuff I'm doing right here to you you could check out my CSS tutorials to learn the CSS one 
but coming back to the tutorial now we have only the active sentence as visible one and we have got the reference of the active div inside this variable as well so the next thing we want to do is remove active class from this div and make the next one active and if suppose we are on this div then jump from this div to the very first div uh, let's program this a bit so first of all we would like to active div dot remove class active and right here we I am using a new method I guess I didn't explain you that in my previous tutorials so you would see a bunch of this in my this tutorial because there are so many methods in jQuery I cannot explain you every method individually so you would learn all these with the passage of time so remove class would actually accept the argument without any dot or hash or basically just a dot because it is a remove class method and it would remove the class if present from the element and it would not throw you an error if the class is not present so that's pretty much handy if you did do not need to check whether the class is present or not with the if statement so remove class technically removes active class from this div which is currently active and now I would like to throw the control to the next div and what I will do is dot next dot add class active now what's happening here is the next method would actually select the very next element which has this active class or which is basically stored in this active div and now this is the main reason I'm using this variable as a reference for instance if I just used or basically I'm sorry this should be just active div because we are already using the dollar sign the constructor function right here so for instance let's say if I just use this right here as this now this basically means div active dot remove class div uh, sorry active and now it became like this thing and in the next line jQuery has no idea what is div dot active because in the previous line it already removed div dot active class from every div in the DOM tree currently only one so that is why I'm using this reference active div to work with because even if I remove the class from this active div the reference remains to that particular element only unless I change its value to something else so now active div now we have removed this class from this div this div right here but technically active div is still referring to this div only so now with active div dot next next is a method which would select the very next sibling of this active or basically this reference right here and we are just adding a class of active to it now it pretty much seems good right now but we've got a problem a small problem and whoa what's that so small problem and what's that let me show you now let's reload this and we've got a nice pretty sentence let's click next 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 and next and next now you see that it does not go back to the one because when it is on this div then on the next one it does not find anything and it just simply removes the active class and this line fails to execute so what we don't want to do is we would like to check if the next of this div actually exists or not so we'll do if active div dot next dot length is equal to zero and I'll explain you what I what I did this then active div dot next dot add nope we want this in else statement and if the length is zero that means if there is no element then we would like the div dot new sticker which is the first div 
remember EQ we used it right here and I would like to add a class of active to it so we are back on one and this thing right here one thing you should know that whenever you perform any DOM manipulation with jQuery you would always get a array of result as the response from the jQuery so when we do like active div dot remove class then jQuery is not returning us a boolean value here jQuery would return is a array value here and we are not storing it in any variable because we need not to work with anything jQuery is returning but right here when we are using active div dot next then jQuery would return me a one single element length of array and if the array is empty that means the length is zero and if the length is zero that means there's no next element to this active div and if there's no next element then what we can do is I would just use the first new sticker this one and I would add the class active to it again and otherwise continue with our own previous task let's reload this and we've got a sentence one two three four five six seven one two three and finally you have created your own infinite type of new sticker so that's how we create oh I guess I didn't create it functionality for the previous one and previous one is pretty much same just like the next one let's copy this code a bunch uh, let's replace it with the event handler for previous and for the previous one instead of next I would like to have the priv now this priv works similar to next just it would select the previous element instead of the next element and similarly we are checking if active div priv dot length is zero then do this otherwise you are good but right here we would need not zero but the last element so how could we do that let's see so if you have ever been into into Python then in Python uh, this is completely irrelevant to right now but I'm just discussing with you that in Python when you create arrays or technically called as lists in Python let's say a B and C then uh, let's say this is some contained in a variable then a0 refers to a a1 refers to b and ac refers to c but in Python we have a as negative indexing as well and a negative 1 refers to the last element negative 2 second last negative 3 third last and so on and similarly the same functionality we have in the EQ method and when we pass negative 1 to EQ then it means that go back even to the last last element you have of new stickers so negative 1 technically means the last element since 0 means the first negative 1 would technically means the last element the negative 2 would second last negative 3 4 5 6 7 and this is pretty much handy when we are working with dynamic uh, you say the dynamic new sticker where you don't know the length of the number of new stickers you have in your widget so now uh, we are good to go let's reload this two three and these crows are all the day around on my balcony give me a sec okay yeah got rid of that so let's reload this and two three four five and let's go back works simple now let's check this out next one worked like a charm and so the previous one so congratulations you just built your first new sticker with the simple simple code of jQuery so that's how you work with jQuery while you're creating widgets and that's how simple jQuery can make your work if you see that all this this code is kind of very simple to understand and is human readable so I hope you enjoyed your new sticker and if I am in a good mood then in the next tutorial we'll be working more on this new sticker and making it a kind of fancy one so I'll see you then and don't forget to subscribe